All right, everyone, welcome back. We are testing every single mask on Amazon. It's a Saturday, things are getting weird over here. Today we are looking at the Ale Goral. Ale Goral. Ale Goral. Ale Goral. I literally have no idea how to say that. This is like, you know, they were using some sort of a, a, a random letter simulator and they were like, make sure it has plenty of uh, vowels. This is like 19 vowels in it. I don't know what this means. Anyways, we're testing the uh, Ale Goral face mask, disposable face mask. Not medical. Let's do it. All right, not a soft touch box. You know how I feel about that. Not very good. Kind of string of these non soft touch boxes. You got the quality certificate. Uh, it's in the inside of the bag. Uh, it does have a nice bag. It's a good thickness. This looks like, you know, three, four, five mil, maybe something like that. So it's good thickness, but you can just open it up and anybody can stick their dirty fingers in there. I mean, I guarantee you my kids are probably back here like 10 minutes ago, just sticking their fingers in these masks. And who knows? I wouldn't. You don't know where their fingers have been. I mean, actually I do, and that's the problem. Gross. All right, uh, let's take some of these out. It's black on black mask. Okay, so these, these ear loops are like ginormous. Like this is not gonna fit on my face, but look at how strong that is. Okay, it broke, but like, I mean, you gotta want that. I mean, it's not gonna hold up like a fat baby, but it might hold up like a small baby, like a newborn, like a little, like a baby, like a three month old, like doing little baby curls or something. I think it would probably hold that up. Yeah, definitely. See, that's baby. That's a baby weight right there. Yeah. Not sad about the construction of this mask. The, the ear loops are too big, but that's okay. Like it's just falling off my face. I don't, I don't love that. Ooh. Oh yeah. That is not delightful. That smell there. I mean, um, uh, I would call this one uh, small plastic fire. That's what this smell is. Small plastic fire. I'm going to give that one, yeah, I'm going to give it three stars because there are way worse masks on Amazon. If I'm doing the Amazon thing, like this is like middle of the road. There's some bad stuff on there. All right, let's get to this part because we are just rambling and not talking about anything. Yeah, that got me a little bit, but you didn't see it. All right, let's let her rip. So this is a particulate filtration efficiency machine. We are mostly caring about this efficiency number here, but also the airflow resistance. How breathable is it? You want this to be um, under uh, probably 150. This is at 50. This is super breathable. It's going to change as we go about our day here, but you know, for the most part, wow. Uh, I switched off the screen because I don't want to tell you what it's going to be. Otherwise, you would just fast forward to the end. Oh, wait, you could do that anyway. Gah, YouTube features. All right, let's look at this mask. Face mask, black, disposable, three-layer design. Ah, three-layer design. Elastic ear band. I mean, this is like the most generic. They like took all of the keywords for face masks and they put it in a blender and put it in random order. Like, there's your title. Uh, 4,600, uh, $10.87, pretty good price. They got a bunch of different colors. We got the black ones, three layers. Try to see if they have any, um, <laughs> this mask, uh, this black mask is designed for a softer and smoother feel for breathable all day long at 51 airflow resistance. They are not wrong. That is super breathable. Our masks are like, you know, anywhere between 110 and 130, depending on how they feel that morning. So, does it protect you? Well, I'm going to say, yay! Probably not. Uh, we've got a lot of masks, like Bing Fong and stuff like that. For whatever reason, these like black masks, they're using like the same crap. 82%. Uh, it's not done yet. we got about 10 more seconds left, but it's, it's not going to end well. Yeah, that, that is, it's not a great mask. I mean, look, like if you were going to go for a run, this is what I say. If it didn't smell like a small plastic fire happening in the other room, I would say this would be a great mask for going for a run. Probably if you've already gotten the, uh, the vaccine. Um, it looks good though. It's got a really thick outer layer spun bun. Um, but at 82.15, 82.15 uh, efficiency, ah, uh, man, I would not recommend. All right, guys, thanks for watching. If this was helpful at all, if you're going to buy these masks because you don't want to be protected and you like 82% efficiency, uh, then look, you're a crazy person. I can't stop you. I can't. It's a free country. Uh, you could give me a like and a subscribe if you wanted to. That would be great. I would appreciate it. All right. Uh, thank you so much. And I will see you at the next test.